Right, over the Christmas holidays, I actually got a few more books. As well, you may have seen one review already. Uh, this is going to be a little different because I'm not really into the ultralight backpacking and the sort of well, what I like to call hipster camping. But there's a couple of books I picked up and uh, they're kind of interesting. So let's look at these. They're actually uh, same authors. I'm Dean. This is the Alberta Bushcrafter Channel. All right, the reason I got these books is they were Mountain Equipment Co-op and uh, they were a pretty good deal. Here's one of them. Ultralight Backpack-In Tips from Falcon Guides. It's written by a guy named Mike Cleland and illustrated by him as well. And here's another one. Alan and Mike's really cool backcountry ski book. Um, that's by Alan O'Bannon and Mike Cleland. So these two books are kind of interesting. Now first off I'm going to take a line from Hiram Cook. I am not a Graham weenie. I'm not the kind of guy who looks for the super ultra light gear and wants to cut his pack down to you know 20 or 15 pounds or even 8 pounds. But I wanted to see with this one how the other side lives, how some of the other guys do it. I can tell you right now, looking at it, um, some great illustrations here. There are some very good ideas in this book. And the nice thing is, is this one is in tip form, so you know it's got I think 153 tips. Let's go see at the end here. Yeah, about 153 tips. Let's have a closer look. Oh, wow, I was right. So 153 tips in here. The nice thing I like about that is it's not pushing one entire philosophy. This is something you can take or leave. Um, some of it's, I don't know, not conducive to bushcraft. Tip number, free, number 53, going without a knife. Well, I don't know. 54 is interesting. It's how to make your own toothpaste dots. Oh, a simple first aid kit. Down versus synthetics, an interesting discussion. There's a bit on leave no trace camping. I'm thankful it's only one paragraph because, well, I'm not entirely sure how reasonable some of that is. I know it's not with bushcraft. Ah, we've got super ultra light. The main thing is, there's some ideas I'll be using here, and it's good as well. I think this book is 13 bucks. Real no-brainer is one that says, take care of your equipment. If there's only, only one drawback to this, is although they have some great DIY suggestions in this book, there's also a lot of gear-specific recommendations. And, well, I'm not too huge on those. I like to improvise. If I find a specific piece of gear that's wonderful, yeah, I'll use it. But it's not always that uh, that great. And I'm not an ultralighter. See, I personally don't think that you can you know, successfully fuse total ultralight and super, super ultralight backpacking with bushcraft. For one, ultralight backpacking, it's kind of just being a slightly more mobile tourist. So you take everything in with you. You don't really use any of the resources there. I, I've seen a guy, uh, I knew a guy who was actually an ultralight backpacker, and he, um, there's a seven-day trail up night near Jasper called the Skyline Trail, Jasper, Alberta. And that's a seven-day trek, and he actually did it in four, and he ran most of the way. I, that was an endurance thing. It's, it, was, it wasn't even a tourist. He was just, he was fighting himself, and... It's kind of fun because he came into the pub the night he got back and he had one beer and was so wiped out he just <laughs> collapsed. So yeah, it's going to depend on your philosophy. Ultralight backpacking and Graham Weenie stuff is definitely not, um, you know, it's not bushcraft. But, and it's certainly not traditional camping by any means. 
But who's to say? Maybe there are some things that can be used from this book. So I'll use some of these as it goes. So far, I've looked at them all and they're quite valuable. Our second book is an interesting one. This is Alan and Mike's really cool backcountry ski book. There's a lot of good winter advice in this book. Backcountry skiing. Um, there's a lot of snow shelters, snow camping. Is this an alternate to the National Outdoor Leadership School's um, winter camping guide? No, not really. Um, I'd say it's, a, it's an add-on. Each one has its own strengths and weaknesses. This one actually goes very well in, and very humorously, I'm going to say, to cold-related injuries. Yeah, you can tell from these guys that, well, for one, a lot of the illustrations look kind of familiar from the National Outdoor Leadership School, but you can tell these guys have actually lived it, and they've that this is much more of a ski book than a winter camping book. And they do, they go into great detail on skis. Um, pretty good detail on you know, packs, sleds, repair kits, which I like. Again, is this an alternative to the other winter camping books? I don't think so. I think it's actually just a different perspective. Uh, great stuff. There's ski technique, the snap turn. There's overlap between the Knowles Winter Camping Guide and this, but it's only overlap. National Outdoor Leadership School, actually that book tends to get a lot more into meal planning. This does not so much. This one gets into technique. Uh, I think National Outdoor Leadership School wants you to pay you know, thousands of dollars for their course to get the technique. Um, these guys do say, like some of this stuff, don't do it without an instructor. It is kind of a little hippie to my taste. Hippie or hipster, call it what you want. But again, you know, the illustrations are quite fun. Um, you know, if you got to spare 10, 13 bucks and you're really into backcountry skiing, this is great. If you just are into winter camping, there's other guides out there too. This is a somewhat specialized guide. Goes nicely into skis and waxes and other gear too, but I don't know. It's a keeper. It's a good book. Both of these, actually I'm going to say, for their intended audience, both of these books are very good. I'm not necessarily their intended audience, but I can still glean a pearl of truth here and there from them. So, again, if you've got a bit of spare cash, they might be, and you're really interested in those particular topics, these are good books. All right. So, that's it for this one. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. My name's Dean. This is the Alberta Bushcrafter channel. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I want to say take care and good day.